I guarantee if you're not getting deals, if you're struggling, this is the biggest mistake you're making. Simon here, I've done over 50 rent to rent deals for myself and I've done countless others for my mentees. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the most frequent mistake I see, okay? I see it all the time, especially with people that have done other courses, by the way, no offense, just saying. The biggest mistake I see is people come out of a crash course or they come out of an online course or whatever and they even come out of mentorship and they go into landlords and agents and they're just banging them in with the perceived benefits of their product three to five years guaranteed rent will take care of all the management and maintenance so that you don't have to you sound like a parrot and the issue is different benefits will benefit different people so one of the worst things you can do in sales is just push the perceived benefits onto somebody else. Let me give you an example, right? There is a famous story where this guy has been literally, he's been researching Lamborghinis for a decade. He knows the exact model he wants. He knows the exact specification and he knows exactly why he wants them. So he walks into Lamborghini, he goes into the sales office and there's this inexperienced salesperson that basically starts showing him an array of different Lamborghinis and throwing all the perceived benefits in his head for, you know, 30 minutes, an hour even. And eventually the guy said, oh, do you know what? Um, you know, can I, can I speak to your manager? And the manager comes over. And for the first time in this sales process, the manager says, well, look, sir, what do you want? What are you here? to do why what are you trying to get and he says oh okay then yeah I, I want that one that model that specification you've not got it in here but I want to put it on order and the, the manager says cool and they sign right there and then so the point I'm trying to make is that what you want to do in sales is you want to because you're proud and you're, you're new and you're trying to get your business right you just want to shoot every great thing about your business out but what happens if the landlord only cares about the rent, they don't care about anything else. Or what about if the landlord only cares about the property being cared for because it was their late mother's property, they grew up in the property and they've got a sentimental value. They don't need the money, it's mainly about being looked after. What happens if somebody's really, really scared of the legal parameters of the agreement and the, the thing and they just wanna be safe so they can sleep easy at night. It's pointless you talking about the monthly cleans or your high-end clients, they're not bothered about that. So drop the script. Drop the hippie stuff that they're teaching you on these courses and just keep it real. Ask the landlord what they need, what their issues are, what they're looking for. And only when you've exhausted that do you make your offer. And I promise you, if you implement that right now, you're gonna be better at rent to rent. Hey, you're gonna be a better husband or wife or partner. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Put their needs before yours. If you find this content useful, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.